there viewers, there's been a couple of patches for Railroader, so let's see what's in the news. First up is a little one, 2024.1.0a, where it fixed the AI stopping early after encountering an approach signal. And then there's a big batch, it's quite a large one, 2024.1.0. We've retuned the AI for this update and think you will find that it runs better than ever. If you find a situation it can't handle that it should, please post in bug reports on the Discord. Also, the AI has learned to whistle for crossings. I must say, if you do report in bug reports, they're very, very responsive. Quite awesome. We've adjusted the default braking force and provided a new company setting to configure it for your save. Medium is the new stronger default, while low is roughly equivalent to the old braking force. I might actually change that to low because I actually thought it was quite realistic. Additional changes. Mines now check for cars in the way between the empty and its destination before moving them as originally intended. So they can't move cars through cars, in other words. Limited multiplayer messages to 512 characters. That's a spam reduction. Reporting marks and numbers are now limited to six letters and railroad names limited to 50 characters. That's a crash removal. The host can rename their railroad using the recharter console command, for example, slash recharter PC pen central. This command changes the reporting marks of existing cars to match if possible without creating a conflict. That's very useful because it means you can change your mind on the name of your railway. Fixed overhead camera momentarily showing the old position when jumping to it. Increased log unloading speed at Whittier Sawmill. Now this is really good because it was impossible to maintain the daily contract load because it took a day and a half to unload the logs. So the only way to do it was to buy more log cars. Popwood payments increased by 50%. Maximum tree density restored to 2. That's good, it'll look better. Detailed density max remains at 1. I would like to be able to change these because I don't run a potato, so I would like to have more. More. Fixed finance tab performance. Fixed misaligned turntable causing chaotic derailments. Now, the other news is that they've got a road map. We released Railroader in Early Access on December 7th, 2023. Please keep in mind that Railroader is an Early Access title and none of our plans are set in stone. That's their emphasis on the words there. We expect to change our plans based on player feedback, technical feasibility, and our own shifting understanding of the game. Additionally, this is not an exhaustive list, but rather intended to communicate our high-level plans. If you are considering purchasing Railroader, please base your decision on the game as it stands today. While these are our goals, they are our only goals, not the certainties or guarantees. Our development team is small, and we all have other jobs and responsibilities. On top of that, Railroader is not a simple game, and software development is notoriously difficult to estimate. Producing a quality game is important to us, and that will take time. Thank you for your patience. If you're curious about what we've got in mind, read on. So I'll read on on your behalf. In the near term, these are the top priorities for the first half of 2024. Bug fixes and stability. It's actually pretty good on the stability front now, so, you know, more is good. Documentation. Equipment model refinements, engines and rolling stock, customer and industry structures. It would be great to have some buildings and other bits going on. AI passenger service. That would also be really good. Medium term. Expect to address these throughout the year ahead, so there's a one-year outlook. Continued optimization efforts, background and filler structures, scenery, good. Sound enhancements including cap controls, the chuff, smooth out the single chuff to loop transition, good, because that kind of sucks balls. Diesel compressor and others. Expand carload models, crouch, diesel horn customization, player provided horns and whistles. Expanded mechanics such as repair and maintenance of way elements. Mail Express Service, Expanded Options and Settings, Additional Customers, Additional Equipment, Additional AI Features. Long-term priorities. Elements may come sooner or later in development, depending on various factors. Official mod slash workshop support. Dedicated server build. Localization, weather slash track adhesion conditions. Revamp the save system. Interchange to interchange freight. Additional character customization options. Equipment catalogue shows photos of engines and cars. Stretch targets. We'd like to build these elements, but we don't know whether they'll be practical or how they will stack up against other priorities. We may ultimately decide not to include some or any of these in Railroader. Further sound enhancements. Different difficulty modes and settings. Different starting scenarios. Additional AI enhancements, passenger models and torpedoes. 
Now, I notice in the near-term priorities, they don't have the AI smarts that they've been talking about. So they've already put out some demos of that, so that must be earlier than near-term. It must be coming very soon, I hope. I hope they haven't abandoned it. I hope they just forgot to put it in here. Anyway, that's about it for Railroader News, so I'll be streaming Railroader Live tomorrow. Enjoy yourself. See you later. <laughs>